What's up guys, welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the Mylar covering. This rotor here is actually the one that I covered in the video. And as you can see, it's basically perfect on all the rotors. So I did have some small little patches that I had to do. And you can just patch these up, these little tiny holes up, by taking a small piece of Mylar and just putting some spray glue on it and then you just want to stick it down. And you want to make sure that you get on there really tightly and make sure that it just comes with the form of the blade. So as you can see, that doesn't really poke out. And this rotor here built to 1.8 uh, grams, 1.185. So yeah, that just comes down to glue control and everything. So I'll go ahead and cue the video for the Mylar. Okay, so this is the first step. You want to cut your Mylar out. And so what I do is I take the paper that the Mylar came in and I just cut on that. I find that it creates a cleaner cut on the Mylar. So you're going to take your razor blade and you're just going to pull along slowly and you're going to push deep into the paper. You want to cut the paper itself and that'll help you get a nice cut. All right. So as you can see here, I'm crumpling up the Mylar and what that does is it puts wrinkles in it and that helps it fit the form of the blade much better. Alright, so as you can see here, the mylar is now tied over the jig. I'm just running my fingers along it so that the mylar sticks to the Vaseline. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my top. Alright, so now I have my top rotor and I'm going to put it down on the mylar. Put it down leading edge first and then run your finger along that leading edge to make sure that the carbon fiber has a good connection with the mylar. Now you'll notice that I um, basically form the mylar to the outer rib by just pressing the outer rib down a little. And then I run my finger along the carbon fiber again to secure that mylar. Now I'm going to go ahead and tap down the inner rib, just like I did with the outer one, making sure that the mylar forms to the shape of the blade. And then I'll run my finger along the carbon fiber rod again. For the inner rib, it's a bit tricky. And I actually just like to take the mylar off the jig like how I did just now. And I'll just pull it to the form of the blade. And then I'll carefully line it against the inner rib. Once I've done that, I'm going to run my finger along the mylar to attach it to the carbon fiber rod. And I'll run it underneath the rib so that the rib has a good connection. You should probably run your finger around the rib for each one of them. Okay, so now that I have the mylar on the actual blade, I'm just going to take my soldering iron and I'm going to cut away the mylar. I try to leave some excess so that I can reduce the risk of puncturing my blade. But you know from the beginning of the video that I actually punctured one of them. So whenever you build it's just something that's going to happen. So just keep that in mind. Now for the soldering iron settings, I would recommend 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I tend to use that because I've noticed it doesn't smoke. I also use a very fine tip when I'm cutting away the mylar, if that helps, and yeah. Now with the rotor in hand, I'm going to lightly take the soldering iron and drag it along the blades just to melt off that excess mylar. And by doing this, you can get the mylar exactly to the shape of the blade. I prefer this method over using a razor blade because it comes out much cleaner. So if you guys have any suggestions for the next video and what I could do to improve, I'd really appreciate that. And I hope you guys understand how to cover your rotors properly now. Thank you so much and have a great day guys. Bye bye.